as much as you can take. Now in this lab, those bubbles aren't rising because of heat, because this lab is not exothermic, it's endothermic. So why would the bubbles rise if they're not hot? What's causing them to rise? Any idea? The acidic acid. Okay, so the acetic acid is, yes, the acetic acid is decomposing your sodium bicarbonate into carbonic acid, and then it breaks down into carbon dioxide gas and sodium acetate. But they're rising because carbon dioxide is less dense than vegetable oil, much less dense. They're not rising because they're hot. Look how fast it's bubbling up there, Kaden. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's come to table one. Add your catalyst, table one. Drop by drop and then pour as much in there as you can. Okay, I see some drops. Now add a bunch more and it'll be more dramatic. Watch for the reaction here. I see some bubbles rising and you're gonna see them rise and fall. Now remember this is endothermic, so they're not rising because they're hot. They're rising because carbon dioxide gas is less dense than vegetable oil. Very cool red lava lamp. Nice job, okay. Now I'm coming over to table two. Now at table two, Kyla, can you tell me what is the catalyst that you're gonna add? What, what are you adding there? Food coloring and vinegar, and we know that vinegar is really just, it's just diluted acetic acid. So grab your dropper and let's start adding your catalyst and see what happens here. Yes. I see some bubbles on the bottom. There's one that's starting to rise. Okay, and Kate and Golder, can you tell me why do they rise? Why do those bubbles rise? Do they rise because they're hot, or do they rise because they're less dense than the vegetable oil? They're less dense than the vegetable oil. Yeah, they're much less dense. Those bubbles are filled with carbon dioxide gas. Cool. And so what's happening here, this is decomposition, but it's endothermic. It actually has a cooling effect. And your sodium bicarbonate is breaking down into carbonic acid. Then it decomposes into carbon dioxide that you see and sodium acetate, which is left on the bottom. Isn't that cool? This is the blue lava lamp. <laughs> well done, table two. Okay, now I'm to table three. Table three, is this lab, is this exothermic or endothermic? Endothermic. It's endothermic, so this isn't gonna release heat, is it? No. No, and heat isn't what makes the bubbles rise, is it? No. No, it isn't, okay. Grab your dropper and let's add some of your catalyst, some acetic acid, and see what happens. You get really close. This is our green lava lamp. Oh, how cool is that? And we see some of those bubbles, they're filled with carbon dioxide gas and it's less dense than the vegetable oil and they're starting to rise. Very cool. And we know this is decomposition because the sodium bicarbonate, the baking soda down here, it's breaking down into carbonic acid and then that breaks down into sodium acetate and carbon dioxide gas. And we know a gas is less dense than an oil, right? Yes. Okay, so that's why it's rising. Let's come to table four. Let's explore. Your solution, add your catalyst. Let's see what happens. Oh, a red lava lamp. Good job. Add your drops of acetic acid. Nice job. And let's see some of those bubbles rise. Lily, can you tell me what are in the bubbles? What kind of gas is that? Is that carbon dioxide? Is the carbon dioxide, is it less dense than the oil around it? 
Yes, that's why they're rising. Now feel the flask. Does the flask feel hot or cool? Right, that's because it's endothermic. It's not releasing any heat. Let's come over here to table five. Table five, add your catalyst. I think you guys are gonna have a green lava lamp. Good job, you're doing great. Okay, now Alex, what what is in the bubbles that you see rising? What kind of gas is being released? Carbon dioxide? Yeah, it's carbon dioxide. So this is carbon, this is sodium bicarbonate down here, which is NaCHO3, and it's decomposing into carbonic acid, sodium acetate, and carbon dioxide gas. Now feel the flask. Does the flask feel cool or hot to your touch? Cold. It's cold, so is it exothermic or endothermic? Endothermic. Endothermic, that's right. It's absorbing heat. It's not releasing heat. So the bubbles aren't rising because of uh, heat. They're rising because they're less dense than the oil. That's a great green lava lamp. And now I'm coming to table five, six. Table six, add your catalyst and see what happens. Yeah, pour as much as you can in there. That's great, Mariah, because we'll get a better reaction, won't we? Look at those bubbles. So this is a decomposition reaction. We have NaCHO3 at the bottom, that's your sodium bicarbonate. It's decomposing into carbon dioxide gas and sodium acetate. And the sodium acetate stays at the bottom, but the carbon dioxide rises because it's less dense than the oil around it. Now feel the flask. Is it cool or warm? Cold. cold. So is it exothermic or endothermic? Endothermic. Endothermic. It's cool to the touch, right? A red lava lamp. That's awesome. Okay. I'm here with Kyla and we're looking at her lava lamp and we can see the bubbles are still rising, but we can see some bubbles like that one is falling. So I guess my question, Kyla, is we know the bubbles rise because they have CO2 inside and CO2 is less dense than oil. But Kyla, why do the bubbles go back down? Because um, at, the sur at the top of the surface it pops and then it's surrounded by food coloring, so then the oil brings it down. Oh, so these bubbles are going down. Oh, I see they still have food coloring on the outside of them. And food coloring doesn't mix with oil, does it? 